Hello, furniture people. I'm Joe, and I like refinishing old furniture. Somehow I decided it would be a good idea to film that and share it, so here we are turning grit into gold. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Doing that allows me to continue sharing interesting projects with you. Also introducing Eddie to the channel. He's our dog. And as you can tell by his expression there, he was a little skeptical about this one, but we'll see where it goes. So I believe I obtained this table sometime in the 1980s during college. Um, we've had it a long time. It's bounced around in a lot of rooms in the house and uh, held up a lot of books and odds and ends. And I just didn't like the way it looked uh, and uh, decided it might be an interesting project. So taking it apart see what I can do with it, make a few minor repairs, and go from there. I actually love working with glue in projects, especially this Gorilla Glue. Easy to work with, easy to sand if you get any on the, an exterior part. That you need to recover, inexpensive, and it works just wonderfully well. And my initial plan was to apply a paint stripper and see what that would do. I actually left it on there much longer than the manufacturer recommends. And as you just saw, it really didn't do a whole lot. So I turned back to the orbital sander, with heavier grit sandpaper on it, and uh, the rest of this sanded off pretty nicely. So the structure of this table is uh, just uh, inexpensive wood. And the two tabletop parts here where I'm sanding um, this this piece right now, this is actually a laminate. It's more like a material when you touch it. It feels like something a clipboard would be made of. This threw me a little bit as I had originally just thought this was maybe some, uh, some birch or something, plywood. Uh, so a material like this won't take stain. So I began thinking of alternatives once I realized what this material really was. So after I cleaned up the whole piece, I decided that rather than stain it or try anything like that, I would uh, get a little creative and see what I could do with it. And as we move through the next few minutes of the video, you'll see what I did.
here. I am adding a little background to dimension for what will be revealed momentarily. Somehow, I'm not entirely sure how, the video of uh, my creating the top with the two planets um, didn't record. Not sure what happened there. But in any case, here's the finished project. And I'm calling it right now maybe the star table or the starry light table or something like that. And I can tell you, Eddie was impressed, and he gives it four paws up. Stay safe and be healthy, everyone.